The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. Two and a half minutes. Mr. Abel. <coughs> Senator Kennedy, both parties uh, have been talking civil rights for a great many years. Congress has passed two bills in the past four years, and yet thousands of citizens are still deprived of their voting rights. Would you favor use of the 14th Amendment, Section 2, a uh, tool that, to my knowledge, has not been used in our time, uh, to penalize any state that denies its citizens the right to vote by reducing its congressional rep representation uh, in, in direct proportion. You no, know, I, I think that the best way is to implement uh, the Constitution and the laws which Congress passed, which I think give the power, the executive, very clear power. I don't feel that those powers have been used very effectively, either in the 57 or the 60 Act, but in my judgment, the executive has full power to provide the right to vote. I don't think there's any legal limitation now, uh, any lack of weapons by the Attorney General or the President to compel the right to vote if a major effort is made, and in my judgment, a major effort should be made in 1961 to make sure that there's no subterfuge, that everyone has the right to vote, that no tests are used which deprive people artificially based on race of the right to vote. I feel that a, a real effort should be made in this field in 1961, and I think it would have the consent pretty much of the entire country. Senator uh, Fogger. Uh, right. Henry Cabot Lodge made a speech in Harlem and <laughs> promised that a Negro would be appointed to the cabinet if he and Mr. Nixon won. Then he got down to North Carolina and, as I understand it, sort of ate his words. You, you remarked on that yesterday. How would you feel about a Negro in the cabinet if you were successful on November the 8th? Well, I think we ought to pick the best people we can, and if the best for each of the tasks, if the best person is a Negro, or, or if he's white, or if he's... Mexican descent, or whether he's Irish descent, or whatever he may be, I believe that he should get the job. But I do believe we should make a, a greater effort to bring Negroes into participation in the higher branches of government. There are no federal district judges. There are 200 odd of them. Not one of them is a Negro. We only have about 26 Negroes in the entire foreign service of 6,000. So that I, particularly now with the importance of Africa and Asia and all the rest, I do believe we should make a greater effort to encourage fuller participation on all levels, of all the talent we can get, Negro, white, of any race. Gentlemen, I think at this point I'll have to interrupt. I see that our time is up. Thank you very much, Senator Kennedy, for being with us. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.